Thank you so much for watching Suman TV. My name is Satish Kanakala. I am a Vedic Maths trainer. I do a training for teachers. So I, I will help to become a successful Vedic Maths teachers. I, if you are a teacher or a student or a homemaker, whatever the background you are, if you are interested to become a Vedic Maths trainer, and I am going to help you out. So what is Vedic Maths? How a Vedic Maths is different from our conventional Maths? To understand, I am going to teach you one technique today in this video. So I am going to explain about subtraction around next 10 minutes of time. So please watch carefully, take, take pen and notebook and try to solve with me and try to understand the concept. You will understand by end of the video difference between conventional maths and Vedic maths. Generally, what is the difficulty in subtraction? When you are doing subtraction, the most people will say the borrowing will be the difficult. As an elder, you may not be feel difficult about subtraction, borrowing, but when you talk about children, any uh, grade 8th, 5th, 6th class students feel difficulty when, when, they, when they are using, when they are applying borrowing. So in this video, I am going to explain without using borrowing without using borrowing so now the subtraction concept is subtraction concept name is all from 9 last from 10 in the Vedic Sutra Nikilam Navataha Charamam Dashataha basically in Vedic Maths we have 16 Sutras so, in 16 sutras, I am going to explain one sutra now. That is Nikildam Navataha Charamam Dashataha. The meaning of this, all from 9, last from 10. My uh, one kind request for you, if you want to understand this concept, you have to watch this video completely. Okay, so let's get into the concept. Subtraction. So I'm subtracting sixty-eight from hundred one zero zero minus sixty-eight. Let's say hundred minus thirty-seven. Hundred minus 54 when you are subtracting so you know the conventional method so 0 minus 8 subtraction not possible so we need to borrow from the next three digits 0 becomes 9 9 minus 8 is 1 so you know the conventional math what school teachers will teach you what the traditional teachers will teach you by using Vedic maths a very simple all from 9 last from 10 take the last number 6 and 8 all from 9 9 minus 6 3 10 minus 8 2 all from 9 last from 10 and uh, 100 minus 37 all from 9 9 minus 3 6 10 minus 7 3 all my all from 9 9 minus 5 4 10 minus 4 is 6 that's it and this subtraction will work only with the numbers base so there are any problem you can solve in this method by using this sutra so this is a basic sutra to understand in-depth multiplication, in-depth sub in subtraction without borrowing. By end of this video, you will understand how simply you are doing subtraction by using the base. The base, nothing but, in this second base, nothing but, number 10, number 100, number 1000, 
number 10,000 and so on. Now let me explain with 1000. 1000 minus 4, 5, 8. 10,000 minus 6, 7, 2, 4. And 10,000 minus 3, 2, 5, 7. Basically, you know, the problems looks like very easy. But when you are solving as a children, it's very difficult. How simply I am solving? All from 9, last from 10. Here we have 3 digits in a 1000. And here we have 3 digits in the second digit. All from 9, last from 10. 9 minus 4, 5. 9 minus 5, 4. 10 minus 8, 2. That's it. All from 9. 9 minus 6, 3. 9 minus 7, 2. 9 minus 2, 7. 10 minus 4, 6. All from 9, last from 10. 9 minus 3, 6. 9 minus 2, 7. 9 minus 5, 4. 10 minus 7, 3. How simply I'm solving it. If you want to do borrowing, you know how to do borrowing. So doing borrowing and solving the subtractions by using all from 9, last from 10, doing directly. I hope you already understood the simplest way of calculation. So let me give you some more examples to give you more clarity on this concept. 100 minus something you can solve very easily. 1000 minus something you can solve very easily. Let's say if I ask you, if I ask you 1 lakh minus 63,475. It's not easy to answer the question in one step. Right? So I'm writing one more example. 1 lakh minus Okay, 1 lakh minus 34,867. So all different digits solving in one step is not easy. So now look at it. All from 9, last from 10. Simple. All from 9, last from 10. No need to write steps. Uh, 9 minus 6, 3, 6, 5, 2, 4. Simple. 9 minus 6, 3, 9 minus 3, 6, 9 minus 4, 5, 9 minus 7, 2, 10 minus 5, sorry, 5. Simple. So, simple. All from 9, last from 10. 6, 5, 1, 3, 3. That's it. All from 9. 9 minus 3, 6, 9 minus 5, 4, 9 minus 8, 1, 9 minus 6, 3, 10 minus 7, 3. No steps, no calculation. If you observe, I'm solving, I'm calculating with eyes. I'm calculating with eyes, I'm writing the answer on the board. So if you practice such kind of problems, if you practice 30, 40 problems, even you yourself can do it directly in one step. In one step. So last, a problem on this concept, I'm, exp I'm just randomly writing, let's say, 1 lakh, 10 lakhs, 1 crore, 10 crores. So I'm writing 10 crores minus 4, 3, 7, 8, 9, 4, let's say 5, 6, 2. So this problem, if you ask any teacher, a teacher can't solve. If you want, you cross check it, pause the video and do it on the paper how difficult you are solving it and how easy I'm solving it. Look at it. 9 minus 4. 5, 6, 2, 1, 0, 4, 3, 8. How simply I'm solving it? How, simply, how will you solve it? If you understand the difference between the way I'm solving, the way you are solving. And this is the difference between conventional maths and Vedic maths. So not only this, we can show you little more tricky problems now. Little more tricky problems now. Let's say, 
let's say 10,000 minus or 1000 minus 47. So if you observe every problem, we have how many ever number of zeros are there? Same digits in below also. If zeros and the digits are not same, which means here we have three, three zeros, but we have two digits. So what is the solution? How to solve it? Okay, so it's very simple. Zero, zero, zero. We have three zeros. Here four and seven. We have only two digits. So we need to keep, we need to imagine in the mind, we need to imagine in the mind here zero. Because zero, four, seven, four, seven. There is no change in the value. So same formula, all from nine, last from 10. Nine minus zero, nine. Nine minus four, five. 10 minus three. 10 minus seven is three. That's it. So imagining in the numbers. So by using imagining, so it will improve children's imagination skills. Look at this. 10,000 minus six, four, five. Okay, six, four, five. Simple. So we have four digits, four zeros in the upper number. It mandatory to have four digits in the below number also four digits so 0 6 4 7 9 minus 0 9 3 5 5 because 9 minus 0 9 9 minus 3 6 9 minus 4 5 9 minus 10 minus 5 is 5 similarly 1 0 0 0 thousand minus only 2 I'll take 2 Basically, this is only for understanding, my dear. This is only for understanding. Everybody knows 1000 minus 2 is 998. But understanding, I'm explaining the concept. Okay, 0, 0. Basically, imagining the numbers 0 and 0. 9 minus 0, 9. 9 minus 0, 9. 10 minus 2 is 8. I hope you understood the concept last two problems on this concept if number of zeros are not equal to number of digits in the second number let's say i'm writing randomly uh, i'm writing randomly one lakh one lakh minus uh, 3680 so, or 368 let's say 368 now, now i'm writing one lakh minus 4574 so 1 lakh minus 4574. Is it easy to solve? No. But I'll solve it indirectly without doing any steps. So imagining five, just imagining five digits, three digits. So missing is two digits. Writing two zeros in the mind. So the answer is going to be nine, nine, six, three, two. Simple. Nine, nine, six, three, two. Simple. Five digits in the first digit, four digits in the second digit. Zero. Imagine zero. Nine minus zero. Nine, five, four, two, six. Is the answer. So 95,426. No calculation, no difficulty. Very simple, simply to understand. So now, which, which will work only when we have 10, 100, 1000, 10,000, 1 lakh or something? No. For anything it will work. But this is basics. This is basics. Let me show you something more. Let's say you want to write uh, 20,000 20, minus 3, 4, 7. Uh, next, 3 lakh. 3 lakh. Let's say 5, 4, 3. So same same formula. This is also same formula. All from nine, last from ten. So look at it. So how many zeros in the first number? Four zeros. So four zeros. Second number three digits. So missing digit is zero. We are keeping zero on the missing place. So same. All from nine, last from ten. Nine minus zero nine. 9 minus 3, 
सिक्स नाइन माइनस फोर फाइव टेन माइनस सेवन थ्री सो हियर वी हैव टू राइट वेन वी हैव वन वी रोड जीरो हियर वेन वी हैव वन वी रोड जीरो हियर वेन वी हैव टू वी शुड राइट वन टू माइनस वन 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 माइनस वन जीरो टू माइनस वन वन सिंपल थ्री वी आर थिंग थ्री माइनस वन टू टू सो इन द फर्स्ट डिजिट वी हैव फाइव डिजिट्स इन द सेकेंड डिजिट वी हैव थ्री डिजिट्स सो द मिस्टिंग डिजिट्स आर जीरो नाइन माइनस जीरो नाइन नाइन माइनस जीरो नाइन नाइन माइनस फाइव फोर नाइन माइनस फोर फाइव टेन माइनस थ्री सेवन सो द आंसर विल बी टू लैख Which can possible with any number. This is a basics. Next, so last a problem on this concept as well. Let's say I am writing sixty lakhs. Okay, sixty lakhs minus three thousand two hundred seventy eight, which is impossible to solve in the mind. But I I don't do any subtraction. But I will explain. and i will answer in less than okay less than 5 seconds less than 5 seconds by using all from 9 last from 10 6 minus 1 5 9 9 6 7 2 2 if you want to cross check pause the video open the calculator cross check and verify thank you so much for watching thanks a lot My name is Satish Kunakala signing off thank you